Building apps using AI is very unpredictable. One time you can build an app without any issues, the second time the AI can't create the app. It seems like the command to create the new Shopify app failed. That is a good example and that's where MCP servers come in. It stands for Model Context Protocol. You can basically use them with your agents to interact with a resource or external systems. For example, a documentation, an API, or a database, etc. In today's video, I will show you how to install MCP servers to your tools like Warp and Cursor. I'll be using Shopify MCP server as an example, but I will also show you a resource where you can find a bunch of MCP servers that you can try yourself. Let's go. So the first thing that we need to do is find where the MCP servers are located. For Warp users, you'll find it on the left panel right over here you'll find the MCP servers, and this is where you can add a new MCP server. Now for cursor users though, you'll need to go to the settings. So it should be under the file, preferences, and then cursor settings. Then look for integrations, and there should be MCP tools or servers. Now let's install a new MCP server. Like I said, for this video, we're going to use Shopify MCP server. And for your information, this MCP server is used for Shopify development. And if you don't know, I have failed so many times building Shopify apps with AI because it's always using the wrong commands. See, this is what I'm talking about. It's still using NPM in it. You know what? I rest my case. This is it. I'm not going to continue. I'm not even gonna run this. So with this MCP, our agent should be able to use the right resources, codes or APIs to build the Shopify app. So no more, oh my God, it's using the wrong NPM command. So with that said, let's install this to our IDE. Now, according to the documentation, we need to run npx-y and then use the package at Shopify forward slash dev dash MCP at latest. Once this is running, we can now add this MCP server using the following configuration. But first, let me show you the difference between without MCP and MCP so you know if it worked or not. Let's go to the chat and prompt what is the command to create a new Shopify app with Remix. If we send this, Claude will use a command like npx or npm in it at Shopify. There we go, I was right. This is wrong because in the official documentation, the command is... That's right, Shopify app in it. Now, if you add this MCP server, it's going to install the following tools. These are the tools that your AI agent is going to use. So now, if we prompt the same prompt, this time it's going to use the MCP server and the tool search underscore dev underscore docs, just like that. So we just need to approve this and there you go. It's now using the right command, Shopify app in it. Now, to those of you who are using Warp, we can create a new tab here and use the agent mode. We're going to use GPT-5 just to try it, just to test if it's going to work. Or honestly, I assume it's not going to work because GPT-5 is not really good when it comes to coding, at least for now. So let's just say, what is the command to create a new Shopify app with Remix? And there you go, as you can see, it's wrong. It's using npm create at Shopify app latest. That's not going to work. Now let's try to use an MCP server. I'm going to add a new MCP server and paste the configuration right over here. Let's just save it. And let's just wait for it to be running. And now we can open a new tab and we'll just run the same prompt. And it looks like it's still using the wrong command. Let me try to use the MCP server. It should be search dev docs. And now it's going to use the following tool. Let's just run it. We can just close this because we don't need it anymore. And if you take a look here, now it's using Shopify app in it. Surprisingly, it's still providing you the following command. Huh? Now let's go ahead and try a different MCP server. We can go to mcpservers.org. This is where you can find awesome MCP servers like 21st Dev Magic. We can try this honestly. And a bunch of different categories like search, web scraping, communication, productivity, development, etc. You can just browse all of this if you want to try them. Everything is gonna be in the description below. I will also include the following repository. 
It's basically the same thing. It lists a bunch of servers or MCP servers that you can try. For example, file systems, version control, cloud storage, databases, communication, and so on. But let's move on to the 21st dev magic. It's basically an MCP server that will allow you to create beautiful and modern UI components instantly through natural language descriptions. And to use this, we need to create an API key and then install it like how we installed the Shopify MCP server. So let's go ahead and visit the 21st.dev and let's create a new account. And now once we're logged in, we can just go back to the documentation and open the Magic Console. And in this page, we just need to install the Magic MCP. So we can just set up the Magic MCP. And here we can select our IDE. We're going to use Cursor. And here we can create our API key. Now there are two ways to install this. It's either you click this Add to Cursor button or you can just manually install it. So let's just install it using the following button. And we should have the following install MCP server. Let's just click install. Okay, pause. Before we continue, I need to highlight this warning. Only install MCP servers from reputable developers or trusted platforms. Do not download from unknown sources, as malicious MCP servers can potentially take control of your computer or steal sensitive data like your API keys. So be careful. And there you go, now we have our Magic MCP installed. And just like the Shopify MCP server, we also have tools. And now in the chat, we can just say UI create a landing page. And there you go, now it's using the MCP server and now it's calling the 21st magic component builder. So we can just run this and that should open the following window. Just agree. And here we go, we have our landing pages. We have five variants of landing pages. We have this one. We also have this, pretty nice. We also have this, but it's still loading. But you get the point. MCP servers are basically tools that your AI agents will use. And that's it. Now your AI isn't just guessing commands now, it's actually pulling them straight from the right source. Like I said, if you want to explore beyond Shopify or beyond 21st dev magic, you can go to the awesome MCP servers list and try the MCP servers yourself. I'll put all the links that I've used in this video down in the description below, but if you have something that you want me to try, let me know in the comments below as well. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to Weekly How for more videos like this. And also, last but not least, thank you so much to everyone, to every single one of you who greeted me happy birthday last time, a few days ago. I don't know when I'm gonna upload it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.